Hello, beautiful humans. Welcome to this reading. Welcome to my channel. This is Do You Tarot, and this message is all about what powerful new connection is coming into your life right now. I'm going to tune in. I pre-shuffled the oracle cards for each of the four groups that I'm going to do a reading for, and this was the, um, what is this deck called? Oh my gosh, it's Magical Spell card from the pre-shuffled oracle cards and like I turned them over I was like yo this is gonna be an amazing reading <laughs> just based on these four cards alone so go ahead if you're unfamiliar with tarot pick a card readings or this channel what I do is I, I'm gonna do four readings use your energy use your awareness your intuition and tune into which of these cards which of these groups you feel most called to this good cheer will be group number one passion group number two success group number three and trust group number four. And again, this reading is all about a powerful new connection that's coming into your life. I'm going to look at what that connection is all about and what it's for, as well as how it will come into your life most likely. And I'm also going to look at an estimate of a when, looking at alignment and calendar time. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Use your energy, tune in, head to the timestamp in the description of this video for whatever group and card you feel most called to. And I will see you in your messages. beautiful human people in group number one if you chose this good cheer card then these are your messages for what powerful new connection is coming into your life right now i'm gonna start with all of these pre-shuffled oracle cards starting with your good cheer card and then we'll move on to tarot to look at um when or sorry how <laughs> this m new connection will most likely come into your life as well as when we'll get some cards looking at calendar time and alignment time as well Starting with the good cheer, it says, with kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule, so mote it be. And then we have change, orange, orange, big sacral energy. Um, also, I'm just like already feeling a sense of excitement and vitality coming through me. Um, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Flourish. Okay, this is just so cool. <laughs> it is a powerful new connection coming to you. Flourish. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. And then we have the Archangel Gabriel's Dragon brings purification. Self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry your Archangel Gabriel's Diamond. You know, I'm already getting a sense that that more so like the reason for this powerful connection coming into your life, it's almost like you need a person outside of yourself to really express how good life can be now moving forward <laughs> in one way, shape or form. Just when it was you, you can carry Archangel Gabriel's diamond. That meant a lot to me, like going through these four cards so far, it's just something about what you've gone through and what you've been through has brought about this like kind of, you know, crystallized formation that it becomes like through pressure comes a diamond type thing. And this powerful new connection is like guiding you into like this, this new mindset, this new way of living. I really, really feel like there we go. Now we get this card. I was already feeling this, but um, I was already trying to say this even to the point where it's like a heart on fire as in like, I care so much about so many things and um, maybe not a whole lot in your life has worked out as well as you would have hoped and you've, you've gone on a bit of like a, a hellish, challenging, difficult path and I really feel as if this new connection is coming into your life almost like divinely inspired to really help you realize like you can shift from that hellish path into like a more heavenish path and like adopt more joy and stuff and like the lotus blossoming from the nutrient rich mud and like the pressure that changes coal into a diamond and purifies something that's otherwise kind of toxic -y. change the, okay um and then we have my heart is open is what that says right here we also have trust and growth oh this is too cool i already know why this is coming to you why this powerful connection is coming to you and then this card, it says, am I continually learning and developing new skills? Okay, the powerful new connection that is coming into your life is someone who will assist you. Oh my gosh, I want to say in ascension, 
might not be that spiritually serious, but in ascension in your life right now, taking you from one mode of operating that feels like it has been your normal because it has felt safe and it has felt like tried and true, even though it carries with it certain flavors of, of like lack or stagnancy or like holding on and, and waiting for something or maybe holding out on others because you, you don't feel safe or comfortable or any way, shape or form of that. You have a person coming into your life to express an entirely different side of your personality that almost has been I don't know that that, that your uh, has been transmuted and now it needs to come out. It needs to literally flourish. It needs to shine. There needs to be this kind of focus on how you are a pure being and how you are perfect as you are and how you are growing from this space of, of what you what you have done, what you have accomplished up to this point, but more so what you have been through and what you have learned according to the process. There is someone coming into your life that's literally going to help you grow, 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 <laughs> like all the time that. And I love this little heart right here in the trust, as in like trust in this, even the way that it looks, it looks to me right now as if it's like a... um. Our angle is looking down on two people coming together like two people like this is the shoulders this is the the top the crown of the head and right between them is this trusting connection this powerful love based connection it's someone someone is coming into your life who literally like vibes with that inner well inside of you that inner source of who you are that inner being that is passion-based and, and driven by your heart and, and driven by, by your empathy maybe or how much you care about certain things and yet you haven't been able to fully thrive in that, in that energy and in that zone. Right away, this good cheer card and the fact that it was just like followed up by this orange and orange and there's like orange surrounding the heart. I just really feel like this is leading you into a greater amount of expansion and expression in form of creativity as well as expansion and expression in your life just in general. Those two, I would need to say it one more time, expansion and expression just because you're completely ready for it. And I keep doing this with my hands. We've got flourish with the lotus. We have growth and again, this, and you're ready to shine. There's something about this connection and this person coming into your life is that they will heighten your awareness of all of these habits that you do need to shift and you do need to change. This person might be carrying with them a certain amount of excitement energy or like a certain amount of excitement that you're not used to. Maybe a very excitable person, one who is like quick to experience joy and quick to make some judgment calls based on that. Like, like I feel like this person coming into your life is someone who would be like, oh, I like doing that. I'm going to go do that and not think twice about it. And something about that feels like it's very different or very maybe... Um, modifying is the best word to say for your energy. And that's why this connection is going to be so powerful for you because it's almost asking you to go ahead and trust in it, lean into it. Your heart remains open to this kind of fiery, flamey energy. So much of the orange is making me think that that's the vibe of this person. Someone who's, who's they might be younger, not necessarily, or they might be very skilled in, the behavior of what it takes to follow that verve and that passion and that fire-based energy in one's life and in their pursuit of their goals. Um, and because they, I, there's something about them. The reason why I say that they might be younger is because there's something about them that has been, oh, that just feels really comfortable in that zone. They have a bit of an entrepreneur vibe when I'm tuning into them. They have a bit of this like, yeah, I might have tripped over and fallen a few times, made a few mistakes, but I'm learning and I'm open and I'm ready to engage with the world at all times so that I can see what happens next, so that I can see what happens next, what happens next, what happens next. It feels like it's just like this huge infusion of what's possible kind of energy into your life based on all of this orange and what I'm um, 
oh, what I'm thinking and feeling is just like this, this sacral energy, this like, like, let's go for it. Let's, let's create, let's vibe with that kind of, I want to say sexual energy, but not necessarily like in terms of like having sex, but just that, that drive to like connect and, and to create that's what I'm feeling from this person. And I'm also feeling the reason why this will be such a powerful connection for you is because it'll literally help you shift from this zone that you've been in that might have been like kind of, yeah, a little bit fear-based, but not in a negative way, just as in like maybe nothing. Yeah, I think I've already said it J just in the beginning. It just feels like you've been in a mode and in a, in a, in a, in a path of, of, you know, just kind of playing it cool, staying calm, staying safe, um, literally feels like whatever seeds might be down in the mud. Not that that's a negative thing. It's just, it's, it's basically this connection is coming into your life almost karmically or, or sort of organically, it feels like, but I'm about to get some tarot cards on like how this might come into your life because you really need a sense of like springtime or maybe even a summertime surge coming for you to let you know how great you are now like you have fully formed you have you have dug yourself and grown yourself very deep roots and it's not just like you might have spent some time really planting yourself in one phase of your life or really one zone or one area of your life but what it says I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement there's something about like the movement that's now necessary after you've grown these deep roots and wherever you're at in your life right now, either physically, career wise, even like romance wise, you've dug some deep roots. It's time for you to actually like respond to the, the seasonal shifting type energy of springtime and, and start growing a sprout, start growing a leaf that comes up to the surface either of the pond and that kind of stagnant water or like the soil itself? Am I continually learning and developing new skills? This freshness, this vitality, this newness, this possible kind of energy is what you need. And the reason why this connection might be so powerful for this person is because they will be able to give it to you. Because they will be capable of being balanced maybe? This person might be someone who comes up with exceptional ideas and has that kind of energy, that kind of fire inside of them um, to be joyful while they go through a creative process, regardless of the challenges inherent in being a creative kind of person. There's something about these energies right here. It just really feels as if this is their energy and this is your energy right here. This like grounded, nurturing, kind of comfort level, you know, soil-based kind of energy. So much. The reason why that I'm doing like kind of, I was intending to do yin and yang, but now I'm doing like kind of an infinity symbol right here is what I feel like. So much of this mutually beneficial vibe, like neither of you have to be exactly like each other. In fact, I think both of you in this powerful connection will be very, very different from each other, but that's literally what makes it so powerful is because of this trusting harmonious balance between these two energies, almost like, um, eh, I barely know enough about astrology, but there was one time where I was in a library and there was this like massive chunk of a book on astrology. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much bigger than what I had thought of just my sun sign is Aries. Um, and it was talking about whatever is the, at the opposite side from you is like meant to be this kind of balancing energy from you. Like an Aries, the balancing energy would be a Libra, something like that. I'm not going to get it right, but that's what I'm thinking about. Is it somebody who might be very, very different from you, but literally it's like the perfect combination of the two of your energies, this like earth and grounding energy and this like passion fiery energy that is literally this harmonious like shit. Yeah, we can do a lot of really awesome stuff here. We can do a lot, a lot of really good for both of us in both of our lives and maybe the lives of a lot of others. I'm going to venture to say that this might have just based on this. I'm like these two cards right here. This that says self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. 
And this is talking about with kind heart and humor free, good cheer. It's just going to be like really, really happy <laughs> in ways that maybe you've gotten used to like being more solid and, and sturdy and stable and standard. But also, these two right here, it just makes me feel like you all, both of you might engage in certain projects together to, to be mutually beneficial. This might be financial. It might be life-wise. Um, it might be romantically <laughs> creating a child. <laughs> I mean, like the alchemy of this energy with the alchemy of yours to create something, it just feels like ridiculously pure, ridiculously beautiful, especially because there's a little bit of a hint of like the self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. And am I continually learning and developing new skills? There's a bit of a hint of like something, obviously you growing, but something growing from this connection in these cards. But okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to shuffle this Disney villains tarot deck and I'm going to see how this connection might be coming into your life. Like, um, I'm going to take this whole chunk. Sorry. The, the way this, you don't need to know my process. Um, <laughs> yeah. How this might be coming into your life. Like in what kind of a way are you going to be reaching out to this person? Is it going to be magical? We've got the 10 of cups coming first as well as the nine of cups, what? And then we have the queen of swords, um, the three of swords, and the ace of swords, and then your last one is the death card. Okay. A transition needs to be made first, um, almost in your life, in your, your I won't, oh my gosh, for some reason it's, I want to say livelihood, but not in terms of what you do for a living, like your job. A transition in your life and your disparity between your practicality and your joy. The measures that you take in your daily life to experience some kind of vibe of playfulness, cheer, good cheer, fun, opening yourself up more, maybe going out on dates or something like that. There's something that these cards are calling me to that are almost encouraging you to pay attention to this transition that you can make right now in your life that will bring this connection to the forefront of your life that will really really bring it to you i'm getting the vibe of romance right now although it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic it just feels like it's going to be something that just feels so full of love and in that case the way you can call this to you like the how that I'm experiencing right here in the cards is for you to vibe a bit more than what you usually do with what might feel comfortable to you that would be endeavoring to do social engagements or like sort of community kind of activities that that bring you happiness that that you like um this ten of cups and this nine of cups and the queen of swords these three it feels like maybe choose to say yes to certain friend invitations or, or certain engagements in one way, shape, or form, like dating, like open yourself up to that. And from that space comes this connection. Um, but yeah, first and foremost, it needs to be like a comfort level with being able to do that. This ace of swords from this three of swords and the death card, it, it really feels like the moment you choose to step out, the moment you choose to step out, literally, literally, literally for the sake of having fun, for the sake of enjoying yourself. That's it to play to have fun, to be fun, to engage with others in a playful manner, like social, obviously, um, even if it's going on a hike on, on like a, a weekend on a beautiful day when a lot of people might be on the path, it just really feels like it's going to be one of those like opportunistic kind of things of where you meet another person, like when you're in some kind of a social situation, maybe at a friend's backyard barbecue <laughs> something like that it just really feels like it needs to be something that is literally responding to your authentic happiness your authentic good cheer and your authentic like like I love doing this kind of thing so I'm gonna go ahead and do that instead of like staying at home and binging Netflix because I don't want to put on tight pants um <laughs> this is like okay, put on your, your pants that you love to wear the most and go out and have fun in a more like communal and social kind of way. Whatever way helps you to feel really good. Um, I just want to say it's coming to me right now to mention that, that you are very open to do that kind of social and community type vibe, um, on social media as well. 
It's just really feeling like, um, how do you love to use social media? Not feel pressured and not feel addicted, but how do you love to use social media and the connectivity of like the internet and that kind of stuff? Really lean into that, like in one way, shape or form, because it is by you doing that, that's the how for how this connection is going to be met and made. Like, like lean into breaking through your usual vibe, whatever that might be, where you're like, this is my normal routine. Disrupt that to the best of your ability so that you can honor your heart more. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> it starts with you authentically choosing um, good cheer. Oh my gosh, this very first card, I'm just going to point to that because it's the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. It starts with you choosing your own version of good cheer. And from that space comes like a whole lot of definition um, into your life of even more good cheer with this person. Like be ready to be surprised, I just want to say, by this person and by this connection. I know I just gave you this like, like detail, this is how, but I feel like it's almost your vibe you go ahead and get in that vibe and it's your vibe that's going to magnetize this person to you. I feel like they're already engaging in that kind of energy anyway. But okay, I'm going to get some cards that are talking about um, time. When? When is the most likely scenario for when this new connection is going to come into your life? We've got debilitated and pinnacle. And it feels as if these two energies are literally repeating what I just said. <laughs> um, <laughs> Debilitated discomfort into this mid-heave and pinnacle. Almost like the second you choose, the second you make that choice of like, I'm, I'm going to have fun today. <laughs> I'm going to be a bit playful. I'm literally just going to go out into the park and do some cartwheels with my friends and see what happens. Like whatever it is for you, rather than maintaining a space of discomfort out of, you know, it's your usual, it's, it's what you're used to, um you feel fat today. Like, <laughs> I'm just thinking of any of the reasons, like all that kind of, I'm not ready, that kind of energy. Nothing in these cards are pressuring you. This is an alignment time estimate of like how and when. These cards are like when you're ready, basically, so far. And I'm just going to shuffle these and see if they want to say a bit more about calendar time. But so far, this literally this connection, this powerful new connection is coming. The moment you decide Literally, that's what these swords energy feels like. The moment you decide in your thoughts, in the moment to choose, I just, I really want to engage with joy today and love. And I really want to open myself up a bit more. <laughs> then, then, then you start to do those kinds of activities literally for yourself, self-generated, making them social as best as you can. And then that's the alignment time that this is happening. And then we've got full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Well, yeah, that's basically what I was just saying is like the moment you choose a positive kind of like, well, I have this negative thought. I also have a positive one. I feel like for me at this point, that's what how I love to use my thoughts as a tool for providing me a whole lot of options. And then I get to heart-based, heart-based make a decision on some of those options. And in that way, I'm like, my brain is gorgeous. It's such such a magnificent worker bee, <laughs> giving me so many options. Yes, some of them are horrible and so sad, but some of them are really amazing. And it's just like the moment you feel comfortable striving toward this like sunlight and this energy. And again, there's so much like orange and yellow and that kind of energy it feels like is coming from this person. You enter into their zone and then we have it's time to take action new moon in aries um as far as calendar time i find alignment time to be way more reliable than the space of calendar time in my readings but fuck it i'm gonna give you a little calendar time estimate we've got new moon in aries into the full moon in scorpio this year this year like the next six to eight or nine months, the next six to nine months, give yourself some time to respond to this fire-based energy and lean into releasing the depths of the watery energy that, that Scorpio carries with it. Um, yeah, it's time to release the negative and it's time to take action as you start to surge forward with this energy and as you start to release this energy. So cool. Um, 
yeah, I feel like this year, depending on when you click on this video and when you see it, I mean, I'm filming this in Aries season, but this is showing sort of like the calendar timeline of a, a space that you have to be able to lean into this energy. And it's starting from this space. Um, Scorpio season is end of October into November. Aries season is end of March into April. So give it some time to when you're authentically feeling this. And then as you start to engage with it, you're going to magnetize this extremely powerful connection that has so much potential for both of you. I just really have to say, like, especially if you've got these hopes and goals and dreams that are literally on the back burner in your life because you're having to like work for your bottom line and maintain everything you've got going on in your life. It just really feels like this person is exactly the person to give you that kind of fire and zest to get going. And I just need to say one more thing before I send you on your way. It is truly interesting that Aries is a fire sign and Scorpio is a water sign. Um, and I do like to make note of this because my very first tarot deck was the Hermetic Tarot. And in that deck, the Temperance card, it depicted this like angel woman who was combining fire and water in this cauldron that was fanned by these vultures wings, like perfectly cooking together fire and water. Like these two elements that seemingly oppose one another, kind of like how I was saying, like the opposite side of the zodiac from you, like an Aries or a Libra or yeah, those kinds of opposites. There's something about the alchemy of this. And that's what temperance cards mean for me is like that balance of seeming opposites and creating something like from lead into gold. Like this from um the the dragon, the Gabriel's diamond thing, which I don't even really know what Gabriel's diamond really means, but like basically the the purification of something that seems like it would be a challenge but creates this this newness like from transforming coal into this diamond pure crystal thing. You just, both of you together, the power that is in this dynamic has such an ability to create something abjectly wonderful in your life. Something that literally is as, as pure, as perfect, and as, as shining as a diamond. Because of the skill that it takes to recognize this person has this quality, this person has this quality, that's awesome, let's see how it balances. I'm just thinking of like... um going out on a date with somebody and and you particularly love seafood clams and mussels and they particularly love french fries there's something about like ordering mussels and french fries that both of you guys will be happy like me <laughs> i don't know that's good I, this, I don't know if that's a good example but i keep trying to strive for this example of this person will be different from you and that's what makes it so powerful lean into your alchemy lean into temperance energy lean into these opposites. But it, again, it feels as if like it's based more on alignment time than calendar time. It might be that zone coming up from Scorpio season into Aries season. So maybe like November to April, but I just really feel like six to nine months from now, whenever you click on this video is a good estimate of calendar time. But most of that is for the sake of you being able to get into from this debilitated energy all the way to this like pinnacle energy in one way, shape or form. Okay. Those are your messages. <laughs> I think I've covered everything that I need to say for you for this powerful connection. This felt really, really nice and really good to channel for you. So oops, thank you for tuning in. If you like these messages, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you like my style of reading. I'd love to see you back. You can click on the notifications bell if you don't want to miss any of my postings. And then otherwise, um, comment below if you feel comfortable doing that. I truly do love your comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I also have two links in the description of this video. One is for private reading if, you're in, if you would like to do that. I'm open right now. For private sessions, private readings. And then another is for the next group tarot session. If you're into using divination tools, you want to lean into psychic energy and practices like that in your own intuition and be able to read with others is what I'm going for with that. I have one coming up tomorrow. And I'm very excited. I have a little group and we're all going to gather together and very informally give and receive readings and lean into where we might be nervous about this practice or we might be really good and not knowing where to take it next and all that kind of stuff. It's just a place to meet people and a place to practice. That's my hope. 
if you want to sign up for the next one, head to the link in the description of this video and you can sign up and I'd love to see you there. I'm going to send you on your way with one of my favorite sentiments, which is please remember we are all always free and we are also all always connected at the exact same time. I love you. beautiful people, beautiful humans in group number two, if you chose this passion card, then these are your messages for what powerful new connection is coming into your life. Starting with that, I pre-shuffled these um, oracle cards and I'm going to start with them and then I'm going to get to the tarot about how you will most likely or potentially meet this person. And also I'm going to look into some cards giving an estimate of alignment time as well as calendar time. But starting first and foremost, let's look at this powerful new connection and let's understand it a bit better. We've got passion, which is the number 11, which is like a really power number. Um, numerologically speaking, rise passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. All right, that's the first card. And then we have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Interesting. We have wait for winter. During the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. And we have the sunshine yellow dragon helps you to help animals, serve animals, heal, respect, and understand them. I have a message coming through, but I'm going to wait until I get all of the Oracle cards so that I can like see this completely. But I really feel as if this connection is going to bring both of you to the forefront of what you might determine is your kind of your soul's journey or your purpose in life at the least, not at the least, but like really, really striving connectedly and together toward accomplishing your most like literal heartfelt wishes. Like it says, um, we've got flying free. I unfurl my wings and fly. I'm getting this notion right away from all of these cards that both of you, the reason why this will be such a powerful connection and why it is coming into both of your lives is because both of you will help heal this loneliness wound, this loneliness chasm inside almost all of our hearts right now as humans. There are so many of us and yet so many of us feel this. Like so often and it's just, especially if we're living in big cities and we're like, there are people everywhere. Why do I feel so alone? <laughs> Why do I feel so lonely? I feel as if um, the very first thought that I had when these three cards came out and then I had this and I saw this is that this connection, this powerful new connection is literally going to be like bringing fire into the depths of this winter. Like lighting a candle and just kind of sticking it in the snow and seeing how long it takes for that fire to melt things around it, you know? Um, we also have faith, and we have stop, and then we have, am I constantly making small improvements in my life? All right. Um, there's something about this faith and this stop thing that I feel like this connection, maybe why it will be so powerful for both of you. I just really feel like this is going to be so mutual, like so mutual. Like this person who's coming into your life is literally going to share a crap ton of your values. In fact, to the point where it helps you further define yourself according to your values rather than according to any pressures you might feel socially or culturally or even like dogma that word is coming to me outside of yourself like the dogma of religions that you might feel oppressed by or like spiritual practices that that you might have been raised in that don't resonate with you in one way shape or form this connection, it really feels like a hugely companionable connection. What I'm getting from this card is just like a whole bunch of energy of two people being able to be literal, totally safe with one another, totally comfortable, totally together and connected. That's what I'm feeling from this sunshine yellow dragon, as well as that, like that can, oh my gosh, I totally didn't even realize, but all these people, they're holding these like platforms of candles. This is you coming into a connection with someone who shares so much, so many of your same values 
that it's almost like a mirror reflection of each other. It's almost like um, both of you have like almost the same habits, maybe almost the, the same pursuits, the same ideals and ideas. And there's something about the reason why this connection is coming into both of your lives is in this companionship, in this companionable, I am safe in this connection. We can be so close and we can be so intimate. In whatever way, shape, or form this relationship wants to be defined, I'm leaving it very open to be defined as any kind of relationship, whether it be like romantically intimate or friendship intimate, something like that. This powerful connection in your life is going to help soothe and ease both of your burdens, it might feel like, to where there's that 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 hole in your hearts of, of like where you kind of feel unseen unheard, like unlovable, unloved, in one way, shape, or form, it's coming. It's coming so that both of you can see yourselves in each other and in other people. And you can be like, you are the perfect person. And in that kind of way, I feel like this is a slow and conscientious, like care-driven, I love the color and the color right here, a care-driven melting melting of the winters of your hearts and the winters of your souls so to speak until it gets to this point until it's like this sunshine yellow gets to this passion and this flying free i feel like these little steps and and these like almost um what's my hair on, on the stop card these little resolutions to realize that you can create your own life based on your own values I feel like are, are going to be these three cards are almost a process. And this is why this connection is going to be so powerful is because together you all can can share this similar vibe of like, you know, we can live our lives according to this. Where I, like whatever the this is, like if you're a person who likes doing a certain thing and yet before it wasn't fully supported by the loved ones around you, this person will do that certain thing. And so then it's just, that's why this stop and this faith, something about you all being able to set your own value system because it's reflected in another person. It's almost like giving you permission. That's why we talk a lot about um, representation matters because it isn't until um, we have a woman president in the United States that I'm really going to feel like my my daughter can aspire to such a thing, you know? Like that kind of a, a, a representation thing. In in this powerful, I, I almost want to cry right now because it feels so pure and so beautiful. In another person, you're literally going to see so many qualities of yourself that it's just like people might be asking, um, eh, I'm going to allow it. If this is a friendship that's coming your way, this might be people, random people being like, are you guys sisters? Are you guys brothers? Like, are you guys siblings in one way, shape or form? I mean, if it's romantic, then it's going to be like, yo, you two were meant for each other. This is tremendous. If it is professional, I'm feeling like this is going to be more personal and professional. But if it is professional, this is sort of like, uh, co-workers or some kind of mentor mentee relationship where it is defrosting both of you defrosting that kind of personal winter defrosting the area surrounding your heart that was protecting that hole because the hole is so painful and it is the hole of loneliness and the confusion of that um yeah these small improvements, like melting it all candle by candle by candle, or, you know, the improvement that from winter to spring, like how the snow eventually all melts. And then we have the flying free. And then we have this passion. I love this rise, passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. Give it time is what I'm feeling like is the energy of this powerful connection, almost like the connection is so powerful because it allows for time, time to develop future and further intimacy, time to develop that compassion and companion ability that truly creates an unbelievably gelled, gelled connection. And I want to say a gelled team. Something is coming to me because there are all these people and then this is about like helps you to help animals and um, there's like a connectivity type thing. Um, humans are animals too. <laughs> There's like a connectivity thing as in like this might be the generation of like a new friend group or a new 
family social system or social cycle in your life. It is, if it is romantic, then this is the person. You're meeting the person who you will generate your family from. If you if that is a choice that you make, if that does resonate for you. It really feels like also if this is professional connection, I'm leaving it wide open. I'm describing more of the tone and the nature of it for you. Um, if this is a professional connection, then this would be you all have a high likelihood in the long run of building something so gelled and so connected that it is so possible to create like businesses and so possible to create abundance and so possible to create even more ideas and, and more pursuits and just create together. Cre yeah, I, I almost want to repeat that because this is such a big deal for this connection, giving it time to slowly melt the winter. Um, <laughs> Ah, oh, and then this right here um, will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes. And I think I said first, like something about your purpose, I think, didn't I? Yeah, inflame your purpose. As long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. Literally, that's what I'm seeing is like something about you both being able to like come together first. And then from there, it just grows and grows and grows to where there's more and more and more people if this is resonating as the actual words on this card, uh, animals and like that compassion of like doing animal activism, um, <laughs> whatever it might be for you, it just feels as if this is very purpose driven. This is very karmic, I want to say, or this is very much like this is a, a soul contract coming in for you both. Like this is something that like you may have lived many lives together and done this kind of service for one another and brought about this kind of shift and this kind of power and this kind of driven change inside of each of you to where you go from this like frozen holding pattern in your life that's built on this like, oh, I don't feel seen. I don't feel understood. And it's moving into this. I'm flying free now. I'm soaring. A lot of this power that I'm feeling from this connection is in being able to move slowly so that there is that time to heal, that time to focus, that time to refocus, and that time to like really generate a lot more fire and a lot more passion. Again, am I constantly making small improvements in my life so that I can stop doing those habits that I got into and I can, I can start creating my own value system and start seeing it outside of myself reflected more? It's almost like this energy of like the two hearts becoming this one beating vibe. There we go. Passion. I'm going to shuffle this tarot deck um, and I'm going to get some cards that are sort of an emphasis on uh, what I'm going for are how. Um, looking at how you both are most likely to meet. We've got Page of Swords coming out first. So it might be in class, in school, in a learning kind of environment, a library. We also have Knight of Cups and the Two of Swords. Um, <laughs> the very first message, I'm going to say it, like a period of time. It might be like a period of time that you're in where you choose to stop dating or you like a period of time where you're just like taking a break from in engaging in that kind of like dating scene or something like that. And then we have the two of wands, the seven of cups and the temperance. Wow. Okay. How you will meet is this decision that you choose to make to make some kind of focused, determined, self-driven, self-loving, self-abundant kind of change in your life. This kind of shift. The two swords and the seven of cups are making me think you're going to make a change that is instead of following the kind of pressure of like what you think will advance your life, you're going to choose a space of a, like the two of swords and the two of wands. Wait, one moment. I need to coalesce this sentence because I keep going all over the place. The more I look and the more I notice. Um, the second you choose you is the simplest way that I can say it. This person will come into your life. In one way, shape, or form, because you start vibing with the choice of, even if I need to feel a sense of aloneness, it is still a sense of more of who I am and what I am. So this might be walking away from those kinds of high pressure relationships and situations. The Knight of Cups can be a very narcissistic kind of energy. And I love that it has Gaston. <laughs> oh my God, because he's kind of like <laughs> the pinnacle of that, isn't he? Um, <laughs> very innocently and naively, but still. Um, 
it's is a kind of violence in our lives that we deal with on a daily basis in one way shape or form but this two of swords and this two of wands are sort of like the moment you choose to step away from that and the moment you start making those choices of where do I want to go and what do I want to vibe with maybe independently maybe striving to alleviate conflict and those burdens rather than just putting up with it when you start to do that, when you start to take those steps toward your own solitude, I want to say, but specifically solitude for the sake of you building you up, that's when this person comes into your life. As far as the specifics of how and where, as, as far as like those kinds of specifics, I'm getting this kind of naive understanding of like them maybe living next door to you. Um, maybe again, that library, I'm really feeling some kind of bookstore library vibe coming through here. Um, these kinds of tranquil oasis kind of spaces that we can get ourselves into maybe like a public park or more so like the bench at the public park that you normally sit at as well as I'm feeling like coffee shop, um, maybe bar, but more of like a, like a, calm one <laughs> when I just really feel like where you go to socially engage with some kind of peaceful connective atmosphere like art museum something like that you have the high likelihood of meeting this person in a very 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 tranquil way but I hope these cards illustrated um yeah on the bottom of the deck is the judgment card I hope they illustrated sort of like the moment in your life as well like like how it will occur is like when you start like as you are making this process you probably are already in it so this might be I just really felt like the whole time you're already in that kind of a vibe so I want to say that these cards are letting you know that it's like around the corner like expect it now expect it in your life right now if as you were listening to this these messages they resonated um as a person that you already know then heck yeah um <laughs> leave it in the comments how you guys met um <laughs> so that we can all resonate with that kind of stuff it just very much so feels like um the power behind this is because you guys are both doing the same things um separately at this point uh you guys are both doing the same things right now the two of swords and the two of wands choosing to forego this and choosing to enter into this kind of energy and that's how it's just just connecting because you you are two people who are so similar. And so then the similar activities that you do, you both will be there anyway. Um, it just feels like so easy. Like, here we are. We're right here. We're right here with each other. Yeah. And again, that stuff that I was saying, I think. Um, no, I'm sorry. I was talking about temperance in group number one. That's so funny. Yeah, it's just achieving, not just, sorry, for you, like achieving that greater state of balance in your life rather than that kind of narcissistic pressure coming from outside of you and really more engaging with being more self-protective. But okay, I'm getting some of these cards to look at alignment time. We've got vision. Um, and then I'm going to get some cards to look at calendar time of when you both will meet. Oh, that's cool. Midheaven came out in the same spot for group number one. Vision and Midheaven, Pinnacle. As far as alignment time, it's almost like repeating this how and that message that came. Like, you're kind of already in that vibe. <laughs> you're kind of already doing that. And the how is, is like you will meet them in this kind of a way of doing these activities that you already normally do. Because those are the activities that they normally do. Um... <sighs> It doesn't feel necessarily like friend group. I just need to say that. It feels like, I mean, nothing of this. It doesn't feel like friend group. Um, the how. It feels like you independently doing your own thing, doing your own coursework, doing your own studies, like following your own path. It really feels like. But okay, that's a bit of what this is saying. As far as alignment time, your vision of your future, your clarity of how you see things. You moving forward, I also, there's a whole lot of what looks like ice <laughs> surrounding this Neptune. And then look at this pinnacle and this shining, shining fire. The alignment time will be when you start to lean in much more into that solitude awareness of where being alone is, is to your best benefit right now. Sort of like choosing to cut these karmic bonds, maybe after you've done some like, 
cord cutting rituals or something like that. Just when you choose to walk away and as you start to really vibe with how important that is for you and has been for you, that's when this person gets to come into your life and that's when you get to come into theirs. And I say get to because it is that great what I'm feeling and what I'm sensing. And now, um, as far as calendar time, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. I felt, sorry, I need to pause because I feel like there was one more thing that needed to come through for what I was saying with this. Um, <sighs> something about when you take those first steps towards striving for your own benefit, for your own happiness. Like as you start to do that, more and more and more that is the alignment time so this might be like a little cue for you to be like that makes me happy as an individual i'm going to go ahead and go do that today whatever the that might be including taking taking a course and going to the library it just really feels like study is a part of this um but yeah that seven of cups energy is making those kinds of emotional based choices from your heart space. But yeah, it just really feels like once you make those decisions, that is the the call to the universe. I'm like doing this like bong. That's the call to the universe to bring you both together. Mm, just because you're choosing you. So it feels very much like then you're choosing this person. Does that make sense for how much I say you both have the potential of mirroring one another? Okay, that's what I wanted to say. And as far as calendar time, be bold and make the first move. And you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. I'm getting summertime vibes as well as this is also the messages in these cards are still pointing to what I'm talking about more with alignment time. I personally, as a tarot reader and in my life, vibe better with alignment time. It allows calendar time to be a lot more fluid and it gets me more quantum and um, when I do tarot readings for myself, I find that the alignment time is a lot more reliable than calendar time. But just to let you know, I'm feeling summertime vibes, especially because it is that energy of like when you start to sort of melt your ice, when you start to sort of melt the snow <laughs> and you allow it to like, like to, to allow that single candle to come. I feel like they're going to show up with um, another candle. And together, you both will just start the fires going in one way, shape, or form. But yeah, summertime. Summertime vibes, big time. Whenever you're clicking on this video, it would be your summertime. As well as this be bold and make the first move. That energy of like the, the light coming in the springtime and then growing and building into where you can't ignore it in the energy of the summer. And it's like that vibe of like, go, 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 do, come on, come out now. <laughs> you don't need to be in that like igloo or in your cave anymore. Come on out, come on out. Um, yeah, I feel like you'll be doing things at that time in your life anyway, where it will, again, alignment wise, bring this person to you and bring you to them. You, both of you are such gifts to each other. That's everything that I'm getting from this reading, everything that I'm getting from this vibe. So yeah, as far as calendar time, whenever you click on this video, when you determine summertime, or I want to say I'm the greatest heat, or the greatest compulsion to like get out and go out and, and move and be and do, that's when <laughs> um, in, the, in the year, in the calendar. But otherwise, alignment time is kind of like a similar message anyway, but those are your mess messages. That's it. That's what I got for you in this powerful new connection that's coming into your life. That's like really, really, really ridiculously beautiful. And I'm so appreciative that I got to tune in and channel this for you. If you like this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you like my style of reading and then click on the notifications bell if you want to be notified for whenever I post a video. Comment below. If you feel comfortable doing that, this feels really beautiful and really good. And I'm glad that this is happening for both of you. Otherwise, I have two links in the description of this video. One is for a private reading. If you want to go ahead and book, I'm open for those. Another is for the next group tarot session. I'm endeavoring to start these sessions where everybody comes together, really laid back, readers of all levels, people who are interested in using divination tools and leaning into intuition and everything that's possible with this. We all come together and we all read for one another, <laughs> give and receive readings. I have one that I'm coming up tomorrow and I'm reading, we're, we're doing this with a small little group of people and I'm so, so, so pleased that it's something that's happening. It's, it's a, an, exper an experiment. It's for me. It's for my, my heart space. If you're interested in doing something like that, go ahead, click on the link in the description of this video and you can see when the next one is coming up. 
Otherwise, I'm going to send you on your gorgeous, beautiful, slowly melting the snow way <laughs> um, with my favorite sentiment, which is please remember that we are all always connected and we are also all always free at the exact same time. I love you. Hello, beautiful humans. In group number three, if you chose this success card, then these are your messages for what powerful new connection is coming into your life. I'm going to start with the oracle cards and then I'll move on to some tarot that'll let you know, help us, help us gauge how you are most likely to meet this person. And then I'm going to look at sort of alignment time as well as calendar time for when this will probably occur. But starting with your oracle cards, you chose, you felt called to this success card. And it says, success that's true belongs to me. Success with honor, integrity. Feeling like those are important words for this message so far. An honest connection, especially. Um, but okay, then we have blame. <laughs> I accept responsibility for my well-being. We also have manifestation. Yo, I'm, I'm feeling some really quick initial hits just with these three cards that it's this powerful connection will have a lot to do with your career and your financial status, um, your financial state. And the, oh, this is just feeling really a whole lot like that kind of stability connection. But anyway, manifestation. Be very honest, honest again, and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation, step one. Um, plus it carries a lot of those similar, there's such a similar tone of colors in, in these three cards so far. We have black dragon, cocoons you so that your divine potential grows, meditate, reflect, undergo a metamorphosis, Interesting. Um, I just want to say that I'm getting the notion that this, this person, this powerful connection is going to be a sort of give and take and a yin and yang kind of balance for the benefit of, of leaning into that, that like power, power of feminine, power of masculine, something to take this cocooning space and do something with what, what generates out of it after we go through a metamorphosis. But okay. We're also getting mending bridges. I heal rifts. I am a mender. And we have sadness and illumination. Look at the colors. Come on. Your message is already like so synchronous. Look at this. So cool. Am I holding on to something I need to let go of? All right. What I'm gathering from this powerful new connection that's stepping into your life, and I do say new, but something about the vibe of this connection is going to genuinely help you not just heal from the past, but actively do something about it. Something that has genuinely been holding you almost down into like some kind of a, a static kind of livelihood or a static kind of position in your life. I feel like for a while now, maybe that's just a vibe that I'm getting. But this connection, the reason why it is so powerful, I feel like is because honesty, there's something truthful about it that'll help you genuinely do this kind of mending the bridges inside of the space of your own heart. First and foremost, there's a, okay. What I'm gathering from all of this is that you're ready to level up. You're ready to step into your awareness, step into your personal perfection. You're ready to like just really take on life again, almost leaning more heavily into your vibrancy of your masculine energy. I just really feel like success is one of those like hallmark goals of your manifestation process and, and success in terms of like, you may have been blamed for certain things just because of that like black sheep energy or something like that. Or you may, it just, it really feels like you've been carrying burdens for such a long time that didn't belong to you. You got blamed for things simply because you were a scapegoat is what I'm feeling like. This powerful connection is coming into your life to help you heal from that and to help you literally manifest. 
Um, for some reason, your group number three, the previous two um, groups, the powerful connection, it just felt so like mutually beneficial. But when I tune into this energy, it almost feels selfishly beneficial for you. And that's why this connection is so powerful. I keep thinking that this has the vibe and the vibration and the frequency sort of when I feel into it of a connection that is work related first and foremost. And beneficial to your finances and that kind of a thing it's almost as if when you do manifest a higher level of financial abundance stability and security after what you've gone through and what you've been through <laughs> this is genuinely the thing that is going to to oh uh, like the universe returning the favors times 10 what is that threefold magnification and amplification of your your gifts and and your your blessings like threefold and one of these blessings that's coming to you is this connection with this person i'm thinking that this person is some kind of mentor some kind of like boss some kind of person who's literally coming into your life to be a guide of a, like in a support structure a support person not just the shoulder to cry on or a shoulder to lean on, but a person that's going to help you magnify and amplify the success that's true to you with honor and integrity. There's something about those words, like the honor, the true, the integrity, especially the word integrity, that is really the power of this entire connection. It feels as if you're fo it feels as if the, the like the focus of this connection. The focus of this whole thing, I think this person literally right now, like, I'm sorry, I just kept trying to make sentences and none of them felt right until I refocused my energy into this like ultra clear sentence. This person is looking for someone who has a really high regard for integrity and doing things honestly and doing things according to like a really, really easily transparent and navigable, navigable system a clear way. Um, they've been looking, dare I say they've been looking for you. Um, they almost want to invest their time, their resources and energy into someone. I want to say something, but into someone who is meaningful in that kind of value driven way. They want to help you. The biggest thing that I need to say for you right now in order to embrace this powerful connection is how open are you to being receptive to that help? How open are you toward receiving in terms of this manifestation, in terms of your success, in terms of everything that you will require in order to actively take hold of your life in a vibrant and fulfilling kind of way? The nature of this power of this connection is that it will have both these benefits of internal mutual healing as well as this external mutual abundance. I'm really feeling like there is a whole lot of you being able to engage with someone in a work kind of environment or at least a resources driven kind of way that literally has the same values as you that is going to magnify and amplify um, how good you feel about your life moving forward and in whatever way that takes shape for you. There's something about the processes of your life up to this point where so often they were, they were shoved. Oh, how do I put this? So often it feels like up to this point, they were, they were, you were taken poorly or like not into consideration and you were almost like compelled and, and deprived in whatever way, shape or form from being able to be so true to yourself, to be authentic, to work in an honest kind of way. It feels like you were more in those kinds of um, toxic work environments, whether that's like familial or work or like studies or whatever it is for you. It feels as if you were depriving yourself a whole lot. And then this card right here, am I holding on to something I need to let go of? These two cards, actually, with the metamorphosis. Too cool. Are you ready to come out of your cocoon now? Oh, do you feel like it? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the cocoon. This is the, the initial like phases of coming out. And this is the butterfly. And then this right here, the black dragon. It cocoons you so that your divine potential can grow. Um, meditate, reflect, undergo a metamorphosis. 
um, there's such a transition in your cards from dealing with your past in a more constructive, vibrant, and masculine kind of way, rather than the darkness, the tuning into and processing emotions, transmuting all of these energies that, that blame can carry with us. Um, I accept responsibility for my well-being is going ahead and charging forward with this like release of the pressure that we might feel of resentment and all of the flavors of revenge or needing to mm, like push people outside of us to like make things right with us. Like letting it go, it feels like is a huge quality of this connection. Like something about you taking that single step or I want to say that single flap of your butterfly wings, like is going to bring this person to you because they're so like wanting to find you. They're so wanting to see someone who has transcended these kinds of difficulties and who is ready to, to, to shine and ready to work and ready to strive, but in this like beautiful, honest kind of way. I'm thinking the ethics of sustainability like as in like doing things transparently, doing things like with a flattened hierarchical system, doing things with environmentalism in mind and, and humanitarianism, but doing that in a business kind of way to where you are profitable and prosperous. It's just that it really, really feels like you carry with you this kind of feminine healed and healing energy that this person is really going to vibe with. It's almost like they want to look to you as some sort of guide or some sort of like totem or emblem of like that is a great person and they want to give to that so like I said how willing are you to release this cocoon status right now how willing are you to step into this <gasps> she's got wings well she is a fairy I'm sorry I'm like wings <laughs> I'm like <laughs> okay this is a fairy oracle deck um how willing are you to to lay down these burdens of resentment and these these burdens of like, I need this to be solved and fixed. And it's something about that's not the way that you're going to solve and fix whatever it is that you've been through with the harm and the hurt of the people, the systems, the emotional quality of your workplace, whatever it was. It, it's go ahead and, and let that go in order for this person to be able to like give in that space that it'll make inside of you from this sadness, which has its place in our lives. From this sadness, being able to illuminate an entire new path for you, an entire new direction. And it's in that way, moving away from the past, looking toward the future that you heal rifts and you are a mender. Something about the energy of this connection will help you utilize your spirit to the best benefit of yourself. And in that way, once you strive and you reach this level of of authentic and in integrity driven this success this level of success in your life i really feel like this is monetarily speaking almost like proving others wrong but not because you ever needed to it's just a a product of this connection like this person almost wants to that's coming into your life who i really feel like they're going to benefit simply because you exist there's not much that you have to do to like give to them besides receive from them all the support and all the guidance and all the awareness that they want to give to you and and for you, it's coming your way. So try to make that space so that they can help you shine in that way. You prove this all wrong. You prove what happened wrong. It wasn't true to begin with. I just really need to tell you that. Whatever was like thrown at you in terms of this blame that caused a whole lot of rifts and sadness and had you cocoon yourself so that you could go into some kind of transformation phase and reconsider what is honest and clear for you that you want to manifest, all that kind of stuff. Especially like this manifestation, it's hard to create some kind of prosperous abundance when we're in a cocoon state. We're not really meant to. We're meant to sort of like like a caterpillar, it like completely dissolves its whole form. <laughs> That's what we're meant to do. And then if we're making manifestations as a caterpillar, they're literally entirely different than what a butterfly or a moth wants to manifest. It's an entirely different phase, an entirely different way of life. These cards are asking you, are you ready for this powerful connection? Because it will be monumentally powerful for you because you are about to exit your cocoon. You're about to face these things where no longer do you have to be in that cocoon of sadness. No longer do you need to be in this awareness that's like right here. It's about, it's about 
shining now. It's about illuminating and magnifying you and, and the success of you, the beauty of you, the vibrancy of you. And in that way, and not in any negative way of proving them wrong, whoever your them are, it's just literally inherent. Like you are that beautiful. And that's what this person needs from you. It's for you to just be you, <laughs> exactly who you are. That's why there's this true and, and the honest and the honor and the integrity. That's it. Um, I'm going to shuffle these or or tarot cards. I'm lost in this like beautiful message that's coming through for you. Um, but I'm shuffling your tarot cards and I'm going to see a bit of like how you two will most likely meet. Um, yeah, we'll get... Um, Six of Cups and Nine of Swords. I'm getting a bit of like counseling vibes. Um, not necessarily like you're going to meet your therapist. No, I'm not exactly sure. Hold on. I'm going to get some more. But these two are just really making me feel like it's someone who has done similar stuff in their life. Um, and you will meet because you're striving to undo the the trauma there we go that really feels like it we've got four of wands and five of wands um and then we have eight of swords it's just so much of what it feels like <laughs> okay yeah eight of cups oh my god i'm so i don't know any other way to say it but it's kind of repeated like two by two by two here um, and on the bottom is the four of swords. Literally, you guys will meet in one of those kinds of situations that you decide to actively pursue that would be some kind of like group coaching or like some kind of, of trauma relief based therapy, like a breath work kind of class. I want to say yoga class, but even then like going deeper into the, the psyche maybe deeper into psychological experiences that can be had, like you might meet in the waiting room of a therapist's office, something like that. Four of Swords to me is like you want your mind to be at peace right now and you want to move forward. You feel like you're already in this vibe of uh, like, I know what I want to manifest now. I'm, I'm sort of holding off and waiting so that I can make sure that I'm ready. This person is literally coming in because they're like, I'm sort of holding off and waiting because I would like to devote my energy to something that I think is worthy of my energy. Um, that's the four of wands and the five of wands. It's almost like both of you have this, this readiness inside of you and you're going to meet in this, in this exchange kind of way, physically, like in life, you're going to meet in this kind of forum or, or maybe online or something like that, like discussing how I have all this vitality. I'm just pausing for a moment because of the trauma <laughs> um, and then needing to process it. That's what this feels like. And the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups is learning, being in a situation in a physical space or online where it's a bunch of people coming together to learn how to move past trauma, how to move past these mental imprisonments, move past trauma, move past whatever it is that's, that's there inside of our brains that's causing us this like, ah, and, and walk into, walk away from that kind of stuff. Um, Six of Cups is dealing with like familial and the past and like how it brings up those kinds of emotions and that kind of loving space. And then we've got the nine of swords, which is like, I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> like, like childhood, like, um, patterns, the imprinting and like, um, I'm literally going to keep making examples, but I just really feel like this is, this is the message of like, whenever you choose to go to these kinds of settings, whether that be on the internet and you meet this person on the internet or this be like physical, like the waiting room of a therapist's office or like some kind of group effort at like healing and, and bringing ourselves to an awareness of what we can do with our past and our thoughts and conflict and arising into this like beneficial kind of way. I'm also looking at four of wands as in like a group kind of event, like going to one of those sessions that are like the, I, the one of those like group things that like um everybody comes together and does a full moon meditation I'm, I'm thinking of that kind of stuff where it's an actual event 
Um, but all of this stuff, hopefully that resonates for you. And hopefully that's already a part of your life and a process of your life. It's just, again, this like healing energy I'm getting. Um, but now I'm going to look at alignment time as well as calendar time of when this is most likely to have. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. You're in it already. You're in alignment already. I just need to say we've got conjunction in the trine sextile alliance and symbiosis. Oh, that's the energy of everything that I was picking up on from this is just like this ultimate love of let's fly together because we know we are mutually beneficial. You are what I was seeking and I am what you are seeking. Okay, so you're already in alignment time. So I mean, like any second now, um, <laughs> let's look at like potential calendar time. We've got luck is on your side <laughs> and balance spirituality and practicality. Um, new moon in Sagittarius, full moon in Pisces. I'm so much better of a tarot reader when it comes to alignment time because that's how I function rather than calendar time. But Sagittarius into Pisces is about three months. Yeah, two to three months. Sagittarius is like November time frame into December and January and then February is and March is Pisces. Let's say three months. Three months from now, I'm going to say calendar time-wise from whenever you clicked on this video, it might literally be during Pisces or Sagittarius season, but I don't want to, I, I, I can't contradict. Like I'm recording this in the month of March, late March. So it's Aries season and I cannot contradict what I'm already seeing in these two cards as far as alignment is you're in this alignment right now. So, so make use of it as best as you feel comfortable and as best as you can. Um... Yeah, so then uh, instead of saying like November or February or March or something like that, um, yeah, I just really feel like calendar time-wise, this is giving you like within the next three months, you're literally going to meet this person. Also, luck is on your side. For me, the way that I define luck better is is alignment. You're in alignment because that's when you start to like feel and be lucky, like stuff starts manifesting for you, like whatever you want is just there. That's luck. But I mean, like, at a more quantum and analytical level, that's alignment. So already, as well as the balance, spirituality, and practicality, that's kind of what this how is saying. Everything that I was trying to say about, like, that's balancing the practicality of, like, um, doing that healing journey and balancing, like, the mental with the spiritual and all of our bodies, as well as this is just, like, the whole vibe of this connection is, like, leaning into transformation and all of our emotional healing bodies and all that kind of stuff with also this practicality of success and monetary success and manifestation in abundance and all that kind of stuff. Again, the question of the this oracle card and this oracle card is, are you ready to come out of your cocoon? Alignment time is saying, yes, you are. And this person is really ready to meet you, like literally see you in your form as you are now. Like whoever you are now, after you've gone through this period of your life that you've just been through, that has helped you transform, helped you grow, help you grow into this different, and you're continuing with that and you're vibing with it and you're realizing different ways of how you want to manifest what you want to manifest. One of these, like I said, your, your blessings coming from the universe threefold. One of the blessings is genuinely this person, almost like a kind of stewardship energy that I'm receiving from this person, as in like they literally just want to give to you and your ideas they want to be a part of your manifestation because you succeeding is them succeeding oh, i can't say it any better and there's so much power for the sake of your finances and your abundance just that and that alone you guys really flowing well together but that's it those are your messages. It feels so really nice to tune into this. And I'm so grateful that this is coming for you and for this other person, both. It just really feels like something that the world really needs. So <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that this is happening for you. And it's happening pretty soon. <laughs> Whenever. <laughs> Literally. Okay. That's it. Those are your messages for this powerful connection coming into your life. If you like this message, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you like my style of reading and click on the notifications bell if you want to be notified when I post readings. Um, comment below if you feel comfortable doing that. I love, love, love the comments so far. Since I started this channel about two months ago, it's just been like so beneficial. So I really appreciate everybody who does comment. Thank you. Thank you. I have two links 
in the description of this video. One is for a private reading. If you would like to do that, I am open right now for private readings. The other is for our group tarot sessions. It's something that I'm endeavoring to begin. I have one coming up tomorrow, but go ahead and click on the link if you want to join with other people of all levels, lean into intuition, lean into like the powerful nature of divination tools and what that can bring for you. And we'll all get together and we read with one another giving and receiving readings. So I mean, at least you get a reading out of it um, <laughs> from multiple different perspectives. But yeah, the one tomorrow, I'm very excited um, because there are like gonna be three of us. <laughs> and that's like the biggest group that I've had so far in this experiment. So like, thank you. <laughs> it makes my heart happy. So thank you, thank you. Um, But yeah, click on the link and see when the next one is. I'm gonna go ahead and schedule that probably today. Otherwise, I'm going to send you on your very merry way with my very favorite sentiment, which is please remember, we are all always connected and we are all also always free at the exact same time. I love you. Hello, beautiful humans in group number four. If you chose this trust card, then these are your messages for what powerful new connection is coming into your life. I'm going to start with these oracle cards that I pre-shuffled because there are a lot of them. And then I'm going to move into tarot and get an understanding of how. I'm going to detail the connection. And then I'm going to um, understand better how this is most likely to come into your life. And then I'll pull some cards that'll tell us a bit more of like a when. When is it most likely to occur according to alignment time as well as calendar time. But starting first and foremost, like I do both alignment and calendar because as a tarot reader, I find that alignment time is a lot more reliable than needing to put a date on a calendar. But regardless, um, calendar time does like soothe our anxiety sometimes. <laughs> so I'm doing both, but okay. Your reading for this powerful new connection coming into your life is starting with this card, Trust. And it says, I am safe. I am secure. In love, I trust. My faith endures. Wow, I just got like a hit of some kind of like intuitive vibe, like a feeling. It's hard to describe, so I won't even endeavor. I'm going to get to your other cards first. Oh, sorry, my heart is like, I don't know why this is. Right away, I'm getting this feeling for you guys. Um, out of all four of the groups so far, you all feel like the romance group. Intimacy. I need to say even better than romance. Um, okay. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Wow. That, I don't know what this is so far, so I'm just going to keep getting your cards and <laughs> lean into the energy. Come together. Fairies like to be busy, and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. And we also have Magenta Dragon enables you to bring forward your soul wisdom. Awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding. Prepare for accelerated ascension. You guys are so funky. I'm sorry. This connection is like ridiculous. As I'm going through your cards, I just keep getting these like vibes of these emotions that feel so good. Don't know how to say it, but okay. I'm going to keep going. Also, I really love the energy of like, there's something about this connection and how powerful it will be to really magnify and amplify your presence in this world. Your presence. Just like, I just feel like this magenta dragon is like burning through the curtain because it's like, like, um, it's time to look at me and not in any selfish or narcissistic way. It's just this connection is like, bringing that for you because it is your journey. It is a part of you in whatever way, shape or form this, this feels and vibes with you. But here we go. Following your bliss. My soul sings with joy. Are you a musician? Because literally up to this point, I wanted to say that multiple times, even before this card came out, I wanted to say that there's something about this connection that is helping you shine in an authentic and almost performance kind of way, we've got hunger and we also have death coming out. Um, don't worry about those. <laughs> it's not like you're going to be hungry and die. <laughs> no. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> sorry, that doesn't fit in this reading. The intent of this reading is talking about a powerful new connection. Okay. And then we have what abilities do I have that I'm grateful for? <laughs> oh my God falling in love with someone who wants to represent you as an artist. Weird. 
I'm really getting those kinds of vibes from this um, group in one way, shape, or form. And your artistry can be whatever it might be for you. The biggest intention with this reading is like you bringing a whole bunch of people together to like sort of witness and vibe with you. Um, this powerful connection coming into your life is someone who will help you manage that. Someone who will really, really care for you in a kind of very intimate way may or may not be romantic, especially because now since like this first card came out and I got that sense like and I, I said romance, but then I adjusted it to like intimacy. It feels like this is a person that you literally can trust with your livelihood. I wanted to say your life, but no, like livelihood. I don't think it's like, <laughs> I trust you with my life. It doesn't have to be that intense. Kind of like these two cards. They don't, they don't feel that intense for me. It really feels like these two cards are like no more starving artist vibes in any way, shape or form. No more needing to sacrifice for your creative work and for your creative self. And no more thinking that you need to like, be someone who strives constantly without any any foothold on success or any foothold on abundance. What abilities do I have that I'm grateful for? Enables you to I'm reading these words again. Sorry. Awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding. Prepare for accelerated ascension. Just <laughs> without going too like deeply spiritual with these words, it just really feels like these two cards together are plus this come together. It just really feels like an audience coming to see you, coming to witness you. In whatever way, shape, or form is that soul wisdom that you have, is that that ability, that truthful ability that you might have. Because it, it's your your soul, your soul that is so joyful to create in that kind of a way. I am safe. I am secure. <laughs> no, it's honest. This is who you are. So this powerful connection that I feel is coming into your life is for the benefit of you being able to show yourself and to be honestly open about your abilities and open about that. There's something about this hunger, this striving, this force to connect, this force to awaken and come clear about who you are, showcase yourself, showcase your gifts and your abilities and your thoughts and your patterns and your habits in whatever way, shape or form this message resonates for you. There's something about that hunger needing to die because it's being replaced by what I can only describe as this ultimate intimate support for who you are. Someone is coming into your life that truly gets you and not just gets you as a person, gets your drive and literally innately knows what it is that you need in order to do this kind of performance. I'm thinking of Guru Jagat. Don't know if I'm saying that right. And she has passed away. And I see her like occasionally or randomly over the course of the past few years and her wisdom. But she was like a guru of Kundalini yoga. I'm not going to be very good about describing who she was because I wasn't like, I would just randomly see some of her, her wisdom. She would like sit like um, on a small stage in front of other yogi devotees and she would talk into a microphone and she would like devote herself to this kind of wisdom and sharing it. That's what I'm sensing is like for some reason that keeps coming to my head. So I'm going to share that as an example of it doesn't have to be you on a stage with a microphone. <laughs> it can be you in any kind, even though I just described that. Like as in you a superstar. If that's what you're hungry for, then yeah. Okay. It's just whatever is your way of shining and showcasing yourself, your talents, your abilities. It might be in the boardroom. <laughs> like it might be you as like manager and you as a successful CEO. It can be anything, but it just really involves you shining. And from the um, entrepreneurs that I have known and I have done readings for, a lot of modern entrepreneurialism is based on your social media presentation. And a lot of that success when it comes to um, gaining investors is from a, a space of them seeing you and especially your honesty and your authentic pursuit of this like goals driven idea for a business. Whatever this is for you, I'm going to stop coming up with examples. There's an end to your hunger drive 
And there's like a beginning in this powerful connection of literally someone coming in, this person coming in being like, you are exactly who I want to support. You are exactly who I want to connect with. It's it's you. There I say, um, this person would say to you, you are my bliss. You are something that is just like magnificent and, and shining, a gorgeous magenta dragon. Something about them seeing you in that kind of a way is part of what will ignite an even greater passion and e even greater courage and even greater ignition inside of you to be able to give more from that space of gratitude. Even more of you gain gaining in confidence. And like, I, I feel like this person is like, if you are a content creator, this person would watch all of your videos and they would tell you like, this was amazing. This was exceptional. Like, <laughs> this was like so cool. And you did this in such a great way. And like, maybe I can like give you this to like help you with the next thing. It's like a person, um, there's a quality of them, I need to say. And again, it just feels like you, you can really, really lean on this person and trust them with your livelihood. I'm really feeling like manager, management, agent kind of energy. But even more than that, I just feel like it's assistant maybe, but like a, a, I'm in a, a, in a contractual kind of way. I'm giving those titles. Someone that you can lean on. Um, oh, I wanted to say that they're, um, their star signs, their sun signs, like their sun or their rising might be an earth sign. Cause I'm feeling this intense grounded nature to them. This like firm, soothing kind of earthen kind of energy coming from them, especially just the nature of the color of this card and how I emotionally felt. Remember I was having a whole bunch of emotions when I was turning over your cards and this coming together and how it's like all the fairies in the woodland. Oh, there's such an energy and such a vibe of you don't need to struggle anymore. Especially you don't need to suffer for the sake of whatever it is that you're creating. No more of that anxiety driven like I need to pursue this because it is my bliss and it is a part of who I am. Um, you can't always expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. I feel like you, you, you know the truth of yourself. And, and you know that this is a bit of your, your, your stardom, your, your honest pursuit of what you feel your soul is here to do. What you feel like is, is meant for you in this life. Um, this is just too cool because there's such power in that. Like you, you've, I just get this vibe from you that like your passion has carried you forward to such an extent, like for so many years. I'm thinking of the movie La La Land. And um, I don't know the characters' names. And for some reason, I'm forgetting the actors as well. But Emma, Emma something, Emma, her character. She was in LA for like six years and nothing. She only got, like, she wasn't gaining any traction on anything. Um, If you've seen that movie, I almost want to tell you the whole plot of the movie. But I'm not going to because I would, like, ruin the movie if you want to see it. But, like... I feel like there's something about you that has been honest to yourself up to this point. And that's what's going to drive this person into your energy and into your aura. Like it's that integrity that you've been carrying forward and you've been developing over time. One last example that's coming to my head before I'm going to get some tarot cards to assess how this person is going to come um, into your life and this connection um, is the 10,000 hour rule. I've mentioned this in a couple of my videos and a couple of my readings, the Malcolm Gladwell book, where he looks at like exceptionalism, and he sees this common qualitative element to exceptionalism. And he uses the example of, um, oh my god, why can I not rumors? Who are the artists? I'm blanking completely. Um, Fleetwood Mac. There we go. I kept thinking of the word Mac. I'm like, what is the Mac? <laughs> Fleetwood Mac. Like they came out with rumors and everybody's like, they're amazing. But he he um, focuses, like one of the examples he uses is how they like literally were a band for 10 years before rumors came out. And they did like so much other stuff and th th no one could, would have called them successful. But this is genuinely you striving for something. And this powerful connection is going to gave give you gain you stability and and burn up even more of your potential in a good way like like this like <laughs> here I am I've got a lot to give and 
you're gonna give it because of this powerful new connection. Okay, now I'm going to shuffle and we're gonna see how how is this connection coming into your life? Um, whoa. Um, just a whole bunch of ploppy cards came. <laughs> Eight of Swords, and then we have the Wheel, the Nine of Swords. I'm going to have to squish them. This deck can be very giving. It's the Disney villains deck. And hilariously, it is ridiculously like the energy of the cards. And when I feel into it, they're very, very giving. And then the eight of cups. And then I just want to add, um, I'm just going to add the king of swords right up top here. Okay. How they're going to come into your life. We've got the eight of swords, the wheel of fortune, the nine of swords, the chariot, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Swords. Some kind of mutually beneficial venture that is quant that is like achieved through both of you meeting each other. I'm almost feeling or sensing that this is kind of like business contractual, but not in any kind of like uh, sterile way. I feel like this is this is like you striving for and reaching out for some kind of formalized assistance for whatever it is that it, that is your your gifts <laughs> that is your your quality that it is that you are sharing and you almost like reaching to out to try and contract someone a ridiculously honest and stable someone it might be um I'm getting the energy of you reaching out for someone through some kind of marketplace maybe like Fiverr to like give you some kind of assistance for what you're doing, like your platform, especially because Four of Wands is right here. And you have this idea. I really feel like this right here in between this Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords is you have this idea and you reach out to someone who would be like intelligent and reliable, honest, honest, honest. <laughs> um, someone who can help you with this phase and this idea of setting up something in your life to carry you forward, especially to get you out of this sort of like striving mode and to get you more into an abundance mode. How does that resonate for you? How does that resonate? Something about you really needing to like break free from this kind of mental awareness of you, you're, you've been doing so much and it's tiring and you really want some kind of support. I feel like how you will, you will both meet is you reaching out literally and finding them, like specifically to find this function, this role, this person in your life for the benefit of whatever it is that you are building, whatever it is. This Four of Wands for me, it, it always carries with it this kind of celebration kind of energy. And for me in readings, oftentimes it talks about you with other people or on your own setting up something that everybody is like really, really happy about and they all wanna come to, like a storefront or something like that, or like an, an, um, a YouTube channel or something like that that people are like, this is awesome, an event. The chariot is, is, I love that this card came out and I just plopped it like that because this is exactly what it feels like. You have this golden bright kind of idea and I'm thinking of La La Land again, but I don't want to tell you the whole plot of the whole movie. You have this brilliant idea that you could literally shift the entire nature of how you're doing what you're doing. You have this idea and you know it's worth going for. Again, your fire has been driving you this entire time. You would like to do it in a different kind of way, I wanna say, as well as you know that you you are going to need some kind of advice and support for being able to do, do it this way. Do these things resonate? And this can be any part of your life, but when you reach out, when you try to find the assistance, um, that's when this person, that that is this person. Um, or at least a person who will bring you to this person. Like you reach out to a bunch of people or a bunch of like um, places or organizations. And then you're like, I need this kind of assistance for this idea that I'm having. And it is in striving for that idea that you self-serve by moving out of this way of I'm just going to doggedly do everything myself. <laughs> and you, you sort of decide I'm not going to do that myself. I do want to reach out and gain some sort of clarity, support, guidance, expertise, king of swords energy all the way, some kind of honest support system for me for what I'm doing. 
And then in that way, that person comes into your reality. It's either the exact person you end up collaborating with or, you know, a friend of a friend. Something like that is what I'm getting. And now I'm going to get to your cards. Um, I'm going to do alignment time of when you both are most likely to meet and I'm also going to attempt to do calendar time I feel like I might have already explained this um I, sorry I had to pause and get the two cards from here um I pref like as a tarot reader I find that alignment time can be a lot more um a lot more reliable than calendar time like we set a date on a calendar and we can stress the crap out of ourselves and when it like comes and goes and nothing happened but alignment time is what, what we have power within us over and this is all about a powerful connection so starting with alignment time we have vesta and south node hearth and past the only thing that i can say is when do you feel like doing this um <laughs> This this description of this event or this this option in your life because this is the alignment time. Whenever it is that you are ready, um, that's when the alignment that this connection is like releasing the way that the ways that you used to go about presenting yourself, like realizing that you can have a bit of a renewal and a renovation, and you can care for your fire more. Vesta and hearth, you can be more healthy about the way that you pursue whatever it is that you are pursuing. That might mean for you with all this fiery energy, this creative spark and all that kind of ignition of your gifts and your intelligence and your awareness and gratitude for them, knowing that you can help people, you can bring people together. You are a very honest person um, and you, your soul sings with joy, all that kind of stuff. When you choose to walk away from any toxic way of pursuing that and you choose to start caring for yourself more and you do have the reliable resources to be able to do that consistently. That's when this person comes in because they want to see that in you. They want to trust in that in you so that you can trust in whatever skill set they have. They want to give to something that has that kind of high level of personal care and, and personal pursuit of what feels good for you. And for others, just like caring for your fire rather than constantly expending it and, and just like um, affording it and giving it out to any possible potential. It's not spreading yourself thin anymore. So whenever you choose to sort of like transition into that vibe, again, that hunger and that death that's just underneath these cards, that's the alignment time. Okay, and I have three for calendar time for some reason. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. And we also have meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. And then this one, the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Um, yeah, a year. Like, um, and not in a sense of like, it'll happen one year from now. No, as in a sense of like the calendar time, give it a year. Um, in less than it, wait, g give it... The timeline and the time span of a calendar year for you to be able to make this kind of transition and this kind of functional adaptation to how you go about doing what your your soul is striving for, your joy, your your magnitude and your amplification. I want to say over the course of this next calendar year, or just give it a year to be able to like get into this vibe is what this is saying. As far as alignment time, this is letting you know that this is coming your way. This is a powerful new connection coming your way. Um, and I already said alignment time for me tends to be a whole lot more valuable than setting a date on a calendar. But there's something about allowing for an entire calendar year that will help you internally make this kind of transition. Again, what it was saying with this honesty card, um, I can, can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. This is you leading the charge here for the benefit of this connection coming into both of your lives. This powerful connection that's just going to like help you get even further. Organize your, your giving um, even more. Uh, 
one calendar year is what I'm sensing or allowing that amount of time. Nothing is yet set in stone. You might need to contemplate this transition and then the energy is gaining momentum. And I'm saying that because right now I'm recording this at the tail end of Pisces season. We just began Aries season. So then I'm allowing and after, um, myself going through these kinds of transitions and recognizing how long they might take according to a calendar for myself. That's how I'm giving you this estimate of this time and this timeline. It's someone who's going to come into your life at literally the perfect moment when you are perfectly aligned for that kind of energy so that it can bring you the greatest amount of benefit as well as them. They want to be able to devote their energies to someone exactly like you, exactly you. Oh yeah, someone exactly like you. But that's it. Those are your messages. That's what I've got for you in terms of this powerful new connection coming into your life. It feels very, very exciting. When do you feel like you're ready for that kind of assistance? <laughs> um, it's up to you. It's genuinely up to you is what I feel like your cards are saying. Very, very much so as far as the how and the when. But anyway, that's it. If you like these messages, please give them a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe if you like my style of reading. Um, click on the notifications bell if you don't want to miss any of my readings when I post them. Otherwise, comment below if you feel comfortable doing that. I, like since I've been I've been doing this now for two months, and your comments on the videos just are so 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 nice. Um, so thank you everybody who has commented um already on my videos. Otherwise, I have two links in the description of this video. One is for um. If you want a private reading, I'm doing those now. I'm open for those now. So you can book that there. And another is for group tarot sessions. It's a project that I'm doing where I'm endeavoring to start group tarot sessions. Everybody bring your divination tool of choice. You can be a reader of any and all levels and we all come together. We meet each other. So, you know, friends, um, tarot friends. And then we also give and receive readings. And we play around with it. We see like how we can benefit each other. And it's just really laid back is what I'm going for. If that sounds like something you're into, check out the link for when the next session is. Um, I have a few people signed up for the session tomorrow and I'm very excited. This is my little passion project. So thank you. And we will see what comes of it. So thank you. Thank you. Um, if that sounds like you, head to the link, see when the next one I schedule is. And I'd love to see you there. Otherwise, I'm going to send you on your merry, gorgeous, beautiful, vibrant, <laughs> amazing way <laughs> with my favorite sentiment, which is please remember we are all always connected and we are all also always free at the exact same time. I love you. Hey there, pretty ones, you pretty people. These are the decks that I use in this reading. I'm going to go through them one by one, put them up here. You can pause and screenshot, write them down. But this is my way of featuring the decks that I use. So then you can look them up if you're into any of them. I love them. Each one of them carries with them a kind of different vibe, a different feel when I tune into them. So they're my friends. <laughs> These are my best friends and I'm sharing them with you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This one is by Reeve and it's the, yeah, reflection card set. And we also have Disney villains, tarot, this, and then your last one. There you go. This is a mini deck. Take care if you're new to buying tarot decks. I didn't know they came in mini. I just thought it was an exceptionally good price. <laughs> okay, I love you. Goodbye.